Hi, it's Eric Robbins, and the topic of this video is how I use TREs with fragile and sensitive patients. So as a little background, I'm a urologist in Southern California. I see uh, a regional um, expert in seeing cases of chronic pelvic pain. I see a lot of patients with chronic uh, functional problems. Functional problems are cases where people have real symptoms, real complaints, but on a physical exam, labs and x-rays, imaging, uh, everything looks okay, the anatomy looks okay, and yet folks have weird symptoms, weird complaints, weird bladder functions. So um, I see this cohort of patients, and among them, a lot of these patients are very sensitive and fragile. From my standpoint, as a urologist and a physician, um, I, I, my whole practice these days is based on a few tenets. Number one, the body tends to heal itself. I firmly believe that. Number two, I believe that as a result of past stressors, tensions, maybe traumas, uh, at any point in our life, particularly when we're young, our body and our physiology can go into a low-level fight-flight-free state, and this will stay on autopilot. It's like a computer program running under the surface. It will go on for years or decades and wrecks havoc on our body. So I think that many of us and many of our patients who are chronically sick the biggest underlying issue is that our bodies are running in a low-level fight-flight-free stress physiology. And although we say that the body tends to heal itself, when it's running in a stress state, it doesn't heal itself very well. So the third tenet is, in order for my patients to ultimately heal from chronic pain, chronic problems, we have to shift their bodies and their physiology out of chronic stress physiology. And in my opinion and experience, the tension release exercises are the best way I've found of doing that. And so for the past three and a half years, um, not only did I take and, and get certified in TREs and they saved my life personally, but I've been doing them with anywhere from two to four patients a day. I find them very helpful at putting the patients in a state, in a physiology, where their body is able to heal itself. Of course, it, everything in my practice is based on you know, doing the American Urology Association guidelines, and all the patients get the normal standard of care treatments. But interestingly, uh, in the AUI, AUA guidelines for treating chronic pelvic pain, the first tier that we're supposed to do with patients is work on relaxation and stress reduction techniques. So I've taken that obviously to a much greater level than a lot of folks have.